Islands to Savvy Sharks Arizona Science Center is back with great activities to teach our kids about our precious ocean. So, Sari, the first experiment is about teaching our kids the importance of really the acidity that is rising in our oceans and really hurting our fish. So how can we do that? Well, so it's actually really easy to talk about at home and it sounds like such a, a tough and heavy topic, um, but there are ways that we can make it interactive so we can understand it a little bit better. So, okay. uh, so first off, we know that there's a lot of carbon dioxide in the air, uh, fossil fuels and humans are putting more carbon dioxide in the air than ever seen before. Um, some of us know that that's starting to heat up the air, but what we don't realize is that a lot of it's sinking into the oceans. Oh gosh. So when that happens, so just like is uh, soda, when, you know, erodes our teeth, uh, that's a Acidic. So it's making our oceans acidic as that carbon dioxide sinks in. Okay. So what I want to show you here um, is how that happens. So do you recognize these fancy tablets? Um, yeah, uh, for heartburn. Alka-Seltzer. 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 So I'm going to have you put one of these tabs in here and we're going to see what happens. Bubbling away. It is bubbling. So what happens with Alka-Seltzer, this is just regular water. It's producing these carbon dioxide bubbles. It's actually making this water acidic. You can do this at home. Again, it's just Alka-Seltzer and water. A lot of us have test strips at home for our pools these uh -huh. days. Um, so go ahead and dip this uh, tab right in there. There should be a colored tab on the end. Yep. There you go. Um, and we're going to hold it in there, and then we'll compare it here. Uh, now, a pH, if we look at the colors here, pH 7 is neutral, but it's starting to get darker towards that green here. And the more it sits, the more carbon dioxide absorbs in the water, the more acidic you're going to see it go. Okay. And if you want to test that too, you could actually use cabbage juice as an indicator, and it starts to change colors. Really a lot of fun. Very cool. Um, and to understand why that's important, now, uh, the next thing you can do is take some uh, shells All right. that you can get at the craft store. Just dump them in here. Um, and let them sit in vinegar overnight. So here's a little white. vinegar, pour them over. White vinegar, regular vinegar that you'd find in your kitchen. Um, and I want you to make an observation here too. What do you notice right Bubbles. away? Bubbles. So this is calcium carbonate, the shells are, and it's starting to break down the shells just like when you put uh, baking soda and vinegar together and you get that volcanic eruption. It's starting to dissolve the shells. So oh, here's one that sat overnight. Yeah, so the hole in this shell, it's absolutely amazing when it's how it's deteriorating with living in our oceans. And let's talk about sharks. So how yes. are sharks able to be buoyant? So um, as we continue to think about organisms in our ocean, so sharks, uh, some people know that fish have a swim bladder. Actually, have you ever tried to swim to the bottom of the pool? Is it hard or easy? It's hard. It's really, really hard. So we are really buoyant. We've got air and water. Um, now, if we were to fill this bottle with water, you can do this at home. Just take two bottles of the same size. You're just going to float the one bottle, bottle in water and see what happens. So what happened to it? Floating. It's floating. Now with sharks, sharks don't actually have a slim, uh, swim bladder. They have a really oily liver. And now have you ever mixed oil and water before? It separates. It separates. And what separates? What, where does the oil go? To the top or the bottom? Uh, Do you remember? Bo top. Top. It <laughs> goes to the top. So the oil floats on the top. So here we're just filling uh, an equal size bottle with oil. The other one has a little air bubble, so I'll leave that just so you can see the difference. So we've got our little shark. I'm going to have you go ahead and drop that in the water and see what happens with that one. Of course, there's a little air in it. I'm not having luck with any of my experiments today. So as long Is as... Is it the same? No, it's bright. It's, it's floating. It will, it will float. float. Yeah, it's floating. So you'll see that the uh, water... They're about equal, that's the problem, but there's a little gas bubble in here that's keeping this one afloat. If you top it all the way off with water, you'll see that the one filled with water will sink a little bit lower, but the one filled with oil will float higher, and that's exactly why sharks can stay more buoyant. I love it. Thank you so much. A lot yeah. of great information. I always learn so much. I need to go back to science class with you. <laughs> and if you want to find out more information about Arizona Science Center, just head to our website. Getting that beach body in check with our fitness.